Recently, I learned a bit of basic modding in Mario Maker 2. For this video specifically, I replaced almost all enemies and items with the Bowser model, which gave me some very interesting and broken results. Let's take a look. First off, I replaced the spike model with Bowser. This caused him to do a T-pose and he sadly couldn't throw any spike balls. But by replacing a spike ball itself, Bowser started rotating like a ball would, which looked pretty funny. All while maintaining a T-pose, seemingly doing a cartwheel. In other styles, it looks just as weird and in night themes, Bowser will keep rolling towards Mario. Oh and this is what happens when you throw Bowser in a clear pipe. Looks like he is having the time of his life. In snow themes, the spike balls become snowballs. This makes it possible to pick up Bowser and play around with him while he once again does a T-pose. He can also be thrown away to make him spin once more. By replacing certain power-ups with the Bowser model, he will start doing some movements and poses we have never seen him do. Mushrooms and 1-ups make him slide over the surface in this pose. Even cooler is the nut power-up, which causes Bowser to roll over the ground, like the nut itself would do. A star makes him bounce in the same pose as before, and the fire flower too, but standing still. The copter mushroom has a nicer result, as it makes Bowser fly away to the eternal hunting grounds while T-posing. A pea bloom will make him hover in the air, and in night mode he will fly away like this. The Poison Mushroom makes him follow Mario, and even funnier is seeing him run away like a little baby as a fire flower. The Mighty Bowser seems afraid. Now let's take a look at some more enemies that have interesting results as Bowser, starting off with bosses. Replacing Bowser Jr. makes him T-pose while his head is spinning around the entire time. Sometimes he also moves briefly, but eventually starts doing the head spin again. By coming closer, his head starts moving faster and after hitting him, his collision disappears after which he freezes in place and just stands there. He's just standing there, menacingly! Boom Boom keeps a bit more of his original moveset. He still follows Mario around, but after being hit, he also frees in place. He can still hit Mario though. For the Koopalings, the head spin returns, only way slower this time. After being hit, they will enter their shell after which they freeze too. But by timing the jump on his head just right, you can position his head in very weird angles. All the Koopalings do the exact same things when replaced by Bowser, except for Lemmy. He will still spawn in a ball on which Bowser can stand. It's quite weird seeing him stand on a ball though. In a 3D world style, Pom Pom makes Bowser T-pose and Boom Boom makes the game crash. While doing the modding, some items in the 3D world style got rotated a bit, resulting in these bonsai bills facing the wrong way. It was even possible to see them from the back, which is normally not possible. They just have a big hole there. A bonsai bill as Bowser though, is very cool. Bowser replaces the bonsai model, but he keeps the engine resulting in this. I was kind of surprised this even worked and didn't crash the game. It worked in almost all directions too. The front facing variant didn't work, however the bullet, being a T-posing Bowser, could still be seen. Sadly it didn't shoot, but that would have been very cool. Unfortunately, the homing bills were invisible, however they were definitely still there as they could still hit me. The Banzai Bowser bill also worked in the other game styles. The bill bill launchers had a very weird result too. Bowser replaced the top part of the launchers while the lower part got rotated a bit. He also always did a movement when trying to shoot a bullet, but those didn't appear. However, they did appear as other Bowser sprites in the other game styles. So Bowser just casually shoots clones of himself. Pretty cool. For enemies that are split up into segments, being Wigglers and Pokies, only the head segment got replaced with Bowser. It's possible to make the Wiggler angry, but nothing special happens to Bowser's model sadly. I was kinda hoping he would turn red or something. It also looks like the Wiggler is trying to crawl into spaces he shouldn't be crawling into. For the Pokey, the same rule counts. When he is the only segment left, he will move pretty wiggly. He also faces his back towards us when moving right. In night mode, it also has a pretty cool result. For the chain chomp, only the head gets replaced, while the chain goes unchanged. Once again, it seems like the chain has entered Bowser's unholy place, but of course he has to do what he enjoys. It also makes it possible to spin jump off of him. Bowser has a rocky wrench, partially digs into the ground, but bugs out as he tries to throw a wrench. In the classic styles, you can still see the wrench, however it also freezes in place. The same can be said for hammers. This makes Bowser look more like a classic SMB1 version of himself, where he could actually throw hammers. The dry bones won't wake up after being jumped on, meaning Bowser freezes in place. In the SMW style, Bowser will occasionally stop walking to throw a bone, which will freeze in the air like wrenches and hammers. The replaced Galumba is very fun, as we can now toss around Bowser and play with him. He's also positioned upside down and he can actually come back to life unlike the dry bones. 
Bowser as the Koopa car is also fun. We can now drive around inside Bowser. Sadly, after taking damage once, the car stops working, so he's weaker than he looks. When a Boo is replaced, Bowser will get stuck in the air after looking at him once. Luckily, he still works normally in the other styles. Now we can play Peekaboo with Bowser. How wholesome! The stretch boots work fine until they try to disappear into the ground as it makes them freeze in place. Thwomp says Bowser also worked pretty well. He even warns Mario when he's going to fall by doing a T-pose. How thoughtful of him. The sideways Thwomps work too. Lava bubbles make Bowser move up and down and flip around his model too while doing so. Bob bombs also work perfectly as Bowser. We can carry him around, throw him around and blow stuff up. The Bonefish as Bowser doesn't work in all styles. It freezes in the NSMBU style for example. But in the SMW style it does still work. The original red eye from the Bonefish even pops up in his mouth. A Lakitu doesn't really work that well as his cloud disappears for some reason and he doesn't throw any spinies down at Mario. A simple Koopa as Bowser doesn't function very well either. We can jump on it, but we can't kill it like that. As a result we can keep jumping off of him and gain lots of 1-ups. Spike tops make Bowser run on walls and ceilings and in the 3 year old style the same can be said for ant troopers. Upside down buzzies and spinies are very glitchy as Bowser. First, they will move up to the next ceiling they can find, quite slowly. In the meantime, they follow Mario around and when they reach him, their sprites start going crazy. Also notice how they don't fall down to attack Mario as they normally would. The wing buzzies and spinies work perfectly fine though. Next up we have the Mecha Koopas. The normal variant can be picked up and follows Mario around. Sadly the Blasta and Zappa variants aren't able to shoot. One thing that does still work are the jetpacks and night levels, but to be honest it kinda looks like a normal Bowser jump. Bloopers are next and are cool too. Whenever Bowser flies upwards, he does a T-pose and when he dies, he wiggles away. In a 3D world style, Bowser moves around for a bit, but eventually freezes after doing a certain movement. As a blooper nanny, only the big blooper gets replaced. Normal fish work fine and they can still be set on fire when swimming in lava. Another fish we have to take a look at is the Porco Buffer. As Bowser, he doesn't bother jumping to try and eat Mario. And underwater, he still functions normally and can still kill Mario. That is until we blow him up, which makes him freeze in place. The enemies I haven't shown yet either didn't work or weren't interesting enough to show, so let's continue with some items now. First, let's take a look at the Clown Car. We get Bowser in this pose again and from time to time he does a T-pose. I'm guessing he does that whenever the clown car would normally blink since it's so short. Mario can jump inside Bowser and start flying around. He almost gets completely covered too. Fire clown cars work too and it really fits Bowser well. In the SMB1 style, Link can drop bombs from a clown car, but when we do it now, we can drop Bowser bombs. Pretty weird, but also cool to see. Next up is the Goomba shoe. It's difficult to see, but behind Bowser you can see the Goomba from time to time. When he gets killed, the shoe goes back to normal. Cannons have a similar result as the cannon gets covered by a Bowser sprite. Apart from that, it works completely fine. Let's continue with the classic items now. A spring as Bowser works as normal, but cannot be picked up for some reason. This also goes for the sideways spring. A power works too and can be picked up. A P-switch doesn't work that well. If we jump on it, it won't start a timer, so it also won't turn coins into bricks. On top of that, it creates this weird continuous effect as if the switch keeps getting pressed. That was a lot of broken and bugged out stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. You can also drop your suggestions for future mods in the comments below. Thanks for watching.